cool. That's a look at some of the unique culture you can experience this weekend in St. Bernard. For 45 years now, St. Bernard Parish has celebrated the Los Islano Fiesta. It's a chance to check out the food, music, and culture of the Canary Islands colonists who first settled in St. Bernard Parish back in 1779. Joining us now with more is William DeMarini Highland, St. Bernard Parish historian and site manager of the Los Islano Museum Complex. Hello, my good sir. Well, how are you? Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Look at this wonderful getup. Now, is this something that the Los Islano people actually wore? This is in the style of the 18th century, and it's from the island of Tenerife. Ooh. And Tenerife was an island that had a very large population, and most of our colonists came from that island. Absolutely amazing. This festival is going to be great. 45th annual, cannot believe it. It's really broken up into three parts. You have food, you have music, you have living, his, living history, entertainment, everything. Let's start with the living history first, because I think that is awesome. Well, of course, we have the uh, living history people from the Shalmet Battlefield. You know, so many people forget that the Canary Islands Islanders were brought to Louisiana to stop British colonial expansion, and they actually participated in the defeat of the British at the Battle of New Orleans. So they will be out depicting War of 1812, 1815 lifestyles. We have a wonderful lady, Mary Montgomery, who does Tenerife lace. This lace is still done in the islands. It's handmade. Wow. And it's something that's been preserved in our community after more than two centuries. We have a group of ladies who will quilt. We have duck decoy carvers. You know, part of the history of the Canary Island people is how they adapted to a new environment through their interaction in that environment. Mm -hmm. So they learned to hunt ducks, they learned to make decoys. We also have the home of Native Americans there. Yeah. And they've done a wonderful recreation or rebuilding of a palmetto hut, and they'll have beautiful programs back there. Also, we have the Filipino people coming. Really? <clears throat> St. Bernard Parish is the site of the oldest Filipino settlement and probably Asian American settlement, arguably, in the United States. They came at the same time as the Canary Islanders, and they lived on Lake Bourne. So we have people who are coming to dance and perform their traditional uh, folk dances and folk music of the of the Philippine Islands. It is amazing and hey let's talk about the dancing. We just saw a group perform at the top. What is some of the other entertainment that we have? I believe we have a folkloric group coming? Yes we have a group from the island of Fuerteventura which was the first of the islands to be conquered by Iberians in 1402 and this group is Masorata. Masorata is the name of Fuerteventura Island uh, which was given to it by the pre-European Aboriginal inhabitants. And as a matter of fact, the dance that you just showed is the Taharaste, Taharaste, which is one of the Aboriginal dances that survives after thousands of years. Wow, and on top of all that, we're gonna get hungry. You have food as well. Oh, of course we have food. And woe unto us had we no food to feed our guests. <laughs> right. So no, we have um, a Caldo, which of course is our traditional mm -hmm. meal in a pot, Delicious. Uh, vegetable soup. We have empanadas, croquetas. Uh, we have homemade flanes. Mm. We have fried seafood. We will have grilled oysters. You can tell. Look at all of the different cuisine you're going to have there. I cannot wait. This we is also have, have the to tortilla to. española. Ooh. The, 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 the Spanish omelet that's made with potatoes and chorizo sausage. This is delicious. As you can see, so and many then things we will, happening. Then we'll have wine from Spain and the Canary okay, Islands. So a little bit of an alcoholic beverage as well. And sangria, oh yes. Oh, come on. You can tell this is a two-day festival. Clearly there is a lot to do. I cannot wait to attend. I, can, I really can't because this is really interesting. If you want more information about the 45th annual Los Islano Fiesta, it's this Saturday and Sunday. It opens at 11 o'clock both days and closes at 10 on Saturday and 9 on Sunday. It will be held at the Los Islano Museum Complex at 1345 Bayou Road in St. Bernard Parish. Admission is $3 per person and kids 12 and under. You get in for free. For more information, log on to losislano.org.